Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardiz and joining me is Senior Investment Analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be discussing the Bank of England's policy meeting on Thursday and the potential reaction in the pound. So Rafi, back in June, the Bank of England added 100 billion pounds to its quantitative easing program. Now, with England going into a second national lockdown as cases continue to surge, what action are monetary policy committee members likely to take? Well, Maria, things uh, have pretty much deteriorated over the past couple of months. Uh, there's been a dramatic turnaround in the virus situation, not just in the UK, but uh, across Europe. Uh, so uh, England has gone back into a national lockdown. Uh, other parts of the UK uh, are also under uh, strict restrictions. Uh, so it's looking uh, like a strong possibility that uh, the UK uh, and much like the rest of Europe will uh, see a double dip recession with force uh, quarter growth forecast being sharply revised lower. Uh, of course, there's still a chance that uh, the the UK uh, and other and the eurozone might escape a negative growth figure for the for uh, uh, Q4 uh, if uh, there is strong growth in October uh, and December. Uh, but uh, pretty much the situation uh, isn't looking too good at the moment. So uh, the Bank of England uh, is expected uh, to. Uh, increase uh, its uh, QE program. It's likely to add another 100 billion pounds uh, to its asset uh, purchases, um, and uh, and also they will also be publishing their quarterly economic projections. So that will also be important to see uh, whether or not just how much more pessimistic, pessimistic the bank has become uh, recently. Okay, so do you think negative rates are on the cards, or is it too early to tell? Well, there's a lot of speculation still about negative interest rates. That's because the bank uh, has yet to make up its mind about it. Uh, but they are still conducting their review as to how useful they would be and whether or not they would uh, be damaging uh, to the banking system. Uh, and that review isn't expected to be completed uh, until the end of the year. So uh, we are unlikely to hear anything new about negative rates uh, from uh, Andrew Bailey at his press conference. Uh, even though we have been getting some mixed messages about it, Bailey will probably just repeat what he's been saying recently, which is uh, that it remains an option uh, and they're still looking into it. Um, but uh, th that's probably not going to be enough for the markets. Uh, but if they do s provide any explicit signals about negative rates, that would certainly uh, come as a surprise uh, at this point. And finally, what reaction can we expect to see in the pound if the bank raises QE by the expected amount? Well, we're not really expecting a strong reaction uh, if the BOE goes ahead and uh, increases QE by 100 billion pounds as expected uh, and there aren't any uh, surprises uh, in their statement or in the minutes. Um, but uh, so, so if that's the case, market reaction will be fairly muted uh, to the BOE decision. Uh, and of course, uh, there's other things uh, preoccupying traders right now. There's still the Brexit talks uh, taking place this week. Uh, the talks have entered uh, an intense uh, phase uh, and they've yet to reach uh, any agreement on a post-Brexit trade relationship uh, with the EU. Uh, so uh, well, we could possibly get an update uh, soon about uh, the status of those talks uh, and that would, that, of course, would be um, a, a major market mover. Uh, and so uh, apart from that, there's, of course, the, what's happening with the virus situation uh, in Europe. Uh, and now we also have the U.S. election uncertainty. So all of those uh, factors will be uh, key drivers for the pound. Uh, and so the BOE, uh, if the, we don't see any surprises, we're not expected to see uh, any huge reaction uh, in uh, sterling. One thing though worth mentioning is that there is a risk that the BOE might uh, increase their asset purchase program by less than expected. Uh, there are some concerns that perhaps the BOE is, is uh, purchasing um, too many gills uh, from the bond market, uh, which would uh, risk draining the bond market, UK bond market uh, from liquidity, like we've seen in Japan. Uh, the uh, the bank's uh, holdings of yields are actually fast approaching the 50% uh, margin. Uh, and so there is a risk that we might see uh, an increase of less than 100 billion pounds. If that's the case, then we might see a stronger, some stronger reaction in the currency markets.
Rafi, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com. <laughs>